38th Assembly District candidates go head to head at Valencia Country Club. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, August 21st. Our state assembly candidates square off over lunch today. 38th Assembly District candidates Democrat Edward Heddington and Republican Scott Wilk both showed up to the Valley Industry Association's luncheon Tuesday. Wilk wants to carry on the work of termed out Assemblyman Cameron Smythe and envisions increasing numbers of Republicans in the assembly. Heddington says the region needs a Democrat to work with the majority for Santa Clarita. Uh, Assemblyman Cameron Smythe, who's endorsed me, is up there working hard for you Monday through Thursday, slamming his head against the wall because in the 80-member body, tw only 27 of those are Republicans. But good news is on the way. Last year we did the redistricting process. I'm looking around the room. A lot of you participated in that. So on the state assembly side, uh, we're going to go from 27 seats to 32, 33, 34. The little truth that Scott hasn't realized yet in Sacramento is that he's going to be completely irrelevant up there. He may have Facebook friends up there. He may get invited to things. He may have a chance to hand out certificates once in a while. But he's outside of the majority party. And you're going to have to get a helmet you know, with more cushion than Cameron has and certainly Keith Richman has because it's going to be even more frustrating up there. Heddington and Wilk will appear on the ballot in the November 6th election. The police were led in a short but wild chase Tuesday morning by a person wanted by the law. Matt Warner is a parolee at large wanted for questioning for Grand Theft Auto. He led deputies in a short car chase in Castaic before jumping out of his car, over a wall, and right into custody. Deputies recognized the parolee when he was on the ridge route and tried to stop him in traffic, but he sped away. Deputies also found him in possession of a loaded handgun and methamphetamine. He's behind bars on a no-bail hold. Coming up after the break, some of our high school students get a unique sneak peek at their dream jobs. That and more next. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. I've smoked bud since I was a little kid. The night before, I went to a rave and I was crying. Yeah. I was addicted. I used to want to kill myself, like, every day. It's a slow death. That's all it is. Redevelopment manager Armine Shaparayan has been asked to don another hat at City Hall. She's temporarily filling the void left by former city clerk Sarah Gorman, who quit to become city clerk for Santa Monica. Shepard Ryan has been helping with the transition of Santa Clarita's redevelopment agency to the successor agency. That's the recently formed bureaucracy responsible for paying off the redevelopment agency's long-term debt. But you could say she's also wearing a third hat. She's also been helping to keep the revitalization efforts going on in Old Town Newhall as a member of the city's economic development team. Big, big backyard. It sounds like something you'd need a writer mower for, but in this case, it's the name of a new art installation at the COC Art Gallery. With a soft opening Tuesday, Big, Big Backyard features interactive artworks including photo essays, graphic design, film, video, and sculpture. There will even be performance and live art meant to serve as catalysts for social interaction and exchange. Filmmaker Laura Colella made a movie where she cast her neighbors as her neighbors. It's a fictional film, but it's really based on reality, and it's all about pleasure. It's just a delightful, wonderful film about social interactions within a neighborhood. The grand opening featuring the film and the idea truck is August 30th. The show runs through September 18th. Well, a new internship program is helping high school students dip their toes in their possible dream jobs the career internship class was developed by the Hart District's Regional Occupational Program. It was offered only to juniors and seniors over the course of the summer. Twenty local businesses participated by hosting student interns up to 12 hours each week. The course included job skills training in areas such as business etiquette, resume writing, and mock interviews. I want to be a chef and I've wanted to do it ever since I was six. It's 
what I want to do with the rest of my life. I feel really honored to be working at this restaurant or like interning here because this is like the best restaurant in Santa Cruz Valley. And when people find out that I intern here, they're like, wow, how did you get into that? Like, that's crazy. That place is so great and like all this stuff. So I, I guess I'm just like really honored to be able to intern here, especially under Chef Otto. Now for your weather. We're continuing through our cooling trend today as our highs reach 92 degrees. Warmer conditions tonight. We'll see temperatures dip into the low 60s. Cooler temperatures for the remainder of the week, though, with a 20% chance of thunderstorms Wednesday morning into Thursday afternoon. Mid to low 90s Friday and Saturday going into the weekend. We now have Dave Caldwell here to give us our update on our local sports scene. Dave? Thank you, Ryan. High school football kicks off the 2012 season this week, and as we've done for 15 years now, SCVTV will be televising the Foothill League. This week's Power Chevrolet Game of the Week will feature the Canyon Cowboys home opener against the Morningside Monarchs from Inglewood. I had a chance to talk with the Cowboys wide receiver Drew Walatarski about Canyon's preparations for the game. Uh, well, right now we're at a good state. We've been watching film all week. I've uh, been practicing, watching uh, Morningside, how they run their offense, defense, kind of uh, putting our own defense together for their offense and uh, vice versa for our, our offense. So um, I think we're in a pretty good place right now. From our uh, scrimmage, we could see that we uh, need work on tackling. And you know they have speed and they have elusiveness, so we definitely we're working on that all week. You can see the Canyon Morningside game at 7 o'clock Friday night right here on SCV TV. The Stanley Cup champion Los Angeles Kings are bringing the cup to Valencia and will let 50 lucky raffle winners have their pictures taken with the most prized trophy in sports. Tickets for the drawing to be one of the 50 are $5 each and proceeds benefit the youth hockey program at Ice Station Valencia. There is no limit to the number of tickets that can be purchased. The cup will be in the house and pictures will be taken by the official photographer at 1.15 p.m. on Thursday, September 6th. Tickets can be purchased at the Ice Station Valencia from the uh, front desk. And Ryan, that's our look at sports. All right, thank you, Dave. Can you imagine the surprise when a Canyon Country couple opened their door to meet their pet coming home after going missing for over two years? A local couple who thought their cat was long gone got a pleasant surprise last week when the staff from the Castaic Animal Shelter called them and said their cat, Janice, had been picked up on Rainbow Glen Drive in Canyon Country. Janice had been on the loose for two years and his microchip contained old information. But determined staff members did a little detective work and found his owners at an address in Palmdale. As amazing as this story is, it's probably a good idea to make sure the information on your animal's microchip is up to date. And that's it for tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.